Fringin wingers. Now that's a lesson I have taught to individuals. I've taught it to small groups, but I've never preached a sermon on it. And I thought it was finally time, so I'm gonna put it out for posterity on YouTube. <laughs> First thing is you need to know that Frankenwanger is a made-up word, so don't go looking in a dictionary or even Google it, because it don't exist yet. I'm going to give you an example of Frankenwanger, maybe a couple of them, and then I'll give a short talk about it. I'm going to be a short sermonette here. But the first time in my mind when I actually started formulating this whole concept was I was sitting in a restaurant in one of those corner booths where you can have six or eight people in it and uh, we had I don't know six or eight people in it all guys and two of the guys didn't matter what the topic was they had an opinion on it and they were willing to share it it's all right I'm very similar got an opinion on most everything willing to share it The problem is, these guys, they were willing to share their opinion on everything, even if they didn't know what they were talking about. Me, I stop when I don't know what I'm talking about. You want to start arguing about cars, go for it, leave me out. I mean, I know which ones I like, I know how they handle. I can explain the workings of an internal combustion engine. I cannot fix them for a diddly squat and ain't going to try and argue with about what's the best way to fix a car. Get the point? It's cooking. I can cook. It might take me a whole long time and I don't like to do it, but I can cook. I'm not going to argue with anybody about what's the best recipe or how to, i tell you which ones I like. You get the picture? Well, a Frankenwanger is somebody who doesn't get that. At this table, there were two gentlemen that, um, well, let's just go with the story. I, I waited until there was a lull in the conversation. We'd been sitting there for a couple hours. And I said, hey, guys, I've been thinking about uh, changing out the carburetor on my car. I think I want to go with that new German one, the Frankenwanger. And uh, I don't remember, I don't remember uh, where the word Frankenwanger came from. I just threw it out there. It wasn't until years later that I actually started using it. But one of these guys said, Oh, you don't want a Frankenwanger. They're hard to work on and break down all the time. Now, if you get these know-it-alls, you'll notice that one of them always takes one side and the other takes the other side, and they're in opposition to each other. Well, sure enough, the other guy says, Oh, yeah, you want a Frankenwanger. Well, my cousin put it on his car, and he got a 25% increase in horsepower, and he got a 35% increase in gas mileage, and it's fantastic. Never been a better carburetor invented. <laughs> I just sat back and listened and enjoyed. Everyone else around the table is going, huh? But they couldn't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> Yeah, those guys are Frankenwangers. Yeah, I was thinking uh, <clears throat> about other illustrations out of my life. Um, you can do it with anybody. But that one's good enough to prove my point. Well, let me give you one more. Um, I used to play chess in chess tournaments. Mostly when I was a teenager, but I've done a few as an adult. I learned a few things. Number one, I learned all the rules to chess. <laughs> Number two, I learned that I was pretty good. Number three, I learned that when it comes to competition, I didn't hold a candle to most of the good ones. <laughs> but I enjoy chess. 
one day I'm playing with a uh, gentleman and I asked him if he knew the rule en passant because I wanted to use that rule right there. And he said, uh, of course I do. I said, okay. So I used the rule of en passant and captured his pawn. He said, pawns don't move like that. I said, well, sir, the only time they do is when you invoke en passant. And, and that's French for in passing. You want to go look it up, go ahead. And it was hilarious. It was hilarious. He proceeded to argue with me about um, that rule, and, and later he castled Queenside and did it wrong. And I tried to call him on it, and I eventually I just let it go. I stopped arguing with him. Because he knew what he knew, and he wasn't going to change his mind. It didn't matter how many facts you presented him. <laughs> Frankenwangers. They're know-it-all, except they don't. They aren't really. They don't know it all. They just think they know it all. All they know how to do is irritate the rest of us. Now, you know what I mean by Frankenwangers. If you're a Frankenwanger, you probably think you're really that smart. But if you'd stop and listen and watch the people around you, their body language will tell you that they don't believe you, but they're going to argue with you because you're too stubborn to give in. But Frankenwangers won't do that. <laughs> All they're going to do is irritate everyone else. So for the rest of you, do what I do. Instigate an argument. Then sit back, relax, and enjoy it.